Daniel Radcliffe's latest movie, The Lost City, starring Sandra Bullock and Channing Tatum, is now in cinemas. And so we've decided to put together a top 10 list of his best ever performances. We've seen him grow from the baby-faced boy who lived to a flatulent corpse and a gun-wielding maniac. And everything else in between, for that matter. So strap yourselves in, because this will be a fun one. Right, let's get into it, shall we? In at number 10, we have Daniel Radcliffe in Extras. Falling in between Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire and Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix was a truly hilarious and very different version of Daniel Radcliffe in Ricky Gervais and Stephen Merchant's comedy Extras. Playing a sexually frustrated and bratty child star who's afraid of his mum, whilst dressed as a young boy scout, might I add, must have been such a refreshing change of pace for the then 16-year-old, who was arguably the most famous child on the planet at the time, and it gave Radcliffe the chance to really flex his comedic talents with his excellent comic timing. And let's be honest, watching him fling an unraveled condom onto Dame Diana Riggs' head before trying and failing to chat her up will always be hilarious. We're gonna come right out and say it, but A Young Doctor's Notebook and Other Stories is a very underrated television series. Starring opposite John Hamm, Radcliffe plays the younger version of Dr. Vladimir Bomgard, a young junior doctor who, despite graduating at the top of his class, has no practical medical experience. And as the medical cases get more and more serious, so does the effect it has on his own life. The series takes place against the backdrop of the Russian Revolution and the Russian Civil War, and brilliantly blends comedic and dramatic moments as Vladimir begins to descend into a serious morphine addiction. It's his way of coping with the horrors that he encounters in his profession. Radcliffe and Ham carry the series, and their chemistry is one of the reasons why the show is still rightly revered by those who watched it. Despite it sounding a lot like an unforgivable curse, Imperium is about as far removed from the Harry Potter franchise as you can get. This intense crime drama tells the story of undercover cop Nate Foster, played by Radcliffe, who infiltrates a white supremacist gang and ends up becoming embroiled in a far-right terrorist plot. This gritty and fast-paced thriller, based on the true experiences of ex-undercover FBI agent Michael German, gave us a version of Daniel Radcliffe that no one was expecting. A skinhead, fast-talking American with a flawless accent. Despite only taking $300,000 at the box office, Imperium is easily one of Radcliffe's best performances and is certainly deserving of a place on our list. Miracle Workers is one of the strangest and funniest sitcoms currently on TV. From the mind of Simon Rich, this anthology comedy series, yep, you heard that right, starring Steve Buscemi and Daniel Radcliffe changes every season, with the pair of them returning each season as a new character in a completely new time period. The whole show feels like a throwback to Blackadder and one long SNL skit, which is hardly surprising, given that it's executive produced by Lorne Michaels and Rich himself is an ex-Saturday Night Live writer. And Radcliffe's performance and characters in Miracle Workers is definitely up there as some of his best work. In Escape from Pretoria, we truly see Daniel Radcliffe like we've never seen him before. Escape from Pretoria is based on the real-life story of three prisoners who escaped from the South African jail, Pretoria Prison, in the 1970s. Radcliffe plays Tim Jenkin, a white South African political prisoner who was thrown in jail for opposing apartheid in the 1970s, and his performance and the movie itself absolutely does the incredible story justice. Escape from Pretoria is one of many smaller independent roles that Radcliffe has taken on in the years since Potter, and once again, his performance is one of the highlights of the movie. Okay, if we were ranking the top 10 movies of Daniel Radcliffe's career, then this would probably be in at number one. But seeing as we're doing the top performances of his career, Swiss Army Man is sadly just in the top five. The main reason for this is because, as he plays a corpse, he doesn't actually have to do a huge amount of acting. 
If you haven't seen Swiss Army Man, Radcliffe plays a corpse that Paul Dano finds washed up on a beach, who then discovers he has numerous helpful functions and uses him to escape from the island. The amount of laughs that Radcliffe gets from essentially playing a dead person with limited dialogue is why we've included Swiss Army Man in our list. His comedic timing and the delivery of his limited lines is superb, and he's a big part of why the movie is as good as it is. Who knew a flatulent, dribbly and sometimes erect corpse could be so funny? This hilarious action comedy, starring Sandra Bullock, Channing Tatum and Brad Pitt, yes, that is actually Brad Pitt, is in cinemas now and is a hoot from start to finish. In The Lost City, Daniel Radcliffe plays Abigail Fairfax, a young media billionaire who kidnaps historical novelist Loretta Sage as he believes she holds the key to finding the treasure of the lost city of D. The role of Fairfax is one of many comedic performances on our list, and he's currently getting rave reviews as the fairly pathetic James Bond-esque villain of the movie. And we caught up with him recently to find out how he ended up in the role. Is playing an evil? charming billionaire as much fun as it looks and how did this role come about for you because you're perfect oh thank you so that's very kind you're finally um, handsome oh well no i mean i was said oh, thank you very much yeah, i can't take this um i no i i i read the script and you know i my sort of vague blanket rule with things is if you can make the films that you would like to see um and it was such a fun character you know he's he is evil and amoral, but he's also sort of deeply pathetic in a way that I found very funny. Like, he's so desperate for Sandra's character to like him and think he's cool. And there's something funny about the guy who thinks he's James Bond, but is actually a James Bond villain and sort of doesn't realise that. Um, so yeah, it was, a, it was a huge amount of fun. Yeah, it was surprisingly charming. Oh, great. Thank yeah, you very I kind much. of rooted for you, but I also kind you of do, hated right? You do, right? At the weird. end, you yeah. go... You feel, when he's in the water and he throws out the gun and he goes, why is she in some kind of trouble? And he's fixing <laughs> his jacket. You're like... Oh my god, there's the spin-off right there. <laughs> the Lost City is currently in cinemas and is definitely well worth a watch and worth a place on our list. Imagine a darker and much more brutal free guy with Daniel Radcliffe in a dressing gown with guns nailed to his hands instead of Ryan Reynolds in a blue shirt. And you've pretty much just pictured Guns Akimbo. In Guns Akimbo, Daniel Radcliffe plays a snarky, sadistic online gamer and troll who ends up competing in a real-life underground deathmatch, in which he faces off against notorious killer Nyx, played by Samara Weaving. This fast-paced, loud, all-action movie is non-stop fun from start to finish, and Radcliffe thrives on the insane material as he proves, once again, why he's such a versatile actor and why he often takes on interesting roles, always elevating them on screen. Guns Akimbo was one of the first movies to be hit by the COVID pandemic in 2020 and was given an on-demand video release. And because cinemas were closed, this meant that plenty of people discovered this hidden gem and praised Radcliffe's performance in what is essentially Grand Theft Auto brought to life. Ah, uh, what a movie. The Harry Potter franchise was always going to feature in this list, wasn't it? And well done to those of you who continued watching almost to the end of this video waiting for it to appear. With eight movies in total and spanning a decade of Radcliffe's life, it simply would have been impossible and arguably unfair to break each of the instalments down. So we've lumped them all in together to make everyone's lives easier. It's crazy, really, to think of the amount of pressure that Daniel Radcliffe and the rest of the young cast of Harry Potter would have been under throughout the entirety of filming the franchise. We literally watched them all grow up and embody the characters that we all loved, and it's truly amazing to think of the impact that Harry Potter still has on its audience today. And whilst there's not much that we can say that hasn't already been said in terms of performances of the cast and the rankings of the movies, we felt it was only right to include Radcliffe's performances in all of the movies in this list. So enjoy, Potter fans. And coming in at first place on our list is one of the first outings for Radcliffe post-Potter, the excellent drama Kill Your Darlings. 
Kill Your Darlings is a biographical drama that tells the story of Allen Ginsberg, the original forming members of the Beat Generations and the death of David Kammerer. Radcliffe stars as Ginsberg opposite Dane DeHaan's Lucy and Carr, and you watch as their own relationship is explored, and so is the predatory relationship between Kammerer and Carr, which eventually leads to the death of Kammerer. Radcliffe's performance in Kill Your Darlings is the driving force behind the movie, with the relationship between Ginsberg and Carr continuously changing, seemingly through every scene. And Radcliffe puts in an electric performance in a movie that many people believe is not just one of his best movies, but one of his best performances. And so that's why we've ranked it at number one on our list. And that's it for our list of the top 10 Daniel Radcliffe performances. And it's fair to say that his roles since Harry Potter have always been a little bit different. But what do you make of our list? Let us know in the comments below and thanks for watching It's Gone Viral.